patience today. <laughs> Yes, colleagues, there is an urgent matter that must be attended to immediately. Break, I'll break you. I'll give you a seven months off. What are you talking about? Oh. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> Excellent. Conspiracy number five. It's been five minutes, I said immediately. What do you mean you don't understand the importance of this matter? Must I explain to you again, you foolish imbeciles? <laughs> Look at all these birds, how they fuck around. I ain't talking picture, they but I got on stop the ground. Things just ain't at an upset, what happened now? Fed a little drones on the watch, we to talk about. Yes, here and there, and patrolling the streets. Red activity there, and I ain't talking to tweet. So grab your tea cup and come take a seat. Are they up in the sky, or they spy at your feet? Or they spy at your feet? This about to get dark, turn off the switch Like the angry birds, catapults and birds to you pigs Once you wake up and see yesterday is the day Don't you get too close or they flying away Or they flying away Once you wake up and see today is the day But don't you get too close or they flying away yeah. Oh, I'm understood <laughs> Excellent Today is the day, but you uh, uh. What do you find the way? Thanks for arriving. Wish I could say swiftly, but today it's not about you bird brains. I had my colleagues procure a special folder for me today because this not only marks the return of this conspiracy theory series, but something near and dear, very near, maybe perhaps outside your window that concerns us all. Now, if you're new joining us today, I highly encourage you to catch up on the last four productions. If you haven't been introduced to <laughs> the, the wonderful works of my colleagues here and how we do things around here. From the Mandela Effect, aliens, to witchcraft, to, I'm not gonna mention that last one by name if you, Interested in knowing why you should just watch the video. Today, one essential question has worked its way up to the top of my list. And all of the required details, information, everything we can need gathered into this single folder. The question that has piqued my interest, are birds real? See, that may seem like a silly question to ask, but if you see the title of this video, you should be well aware things are not always what they may seem. But enough of the introductory stage of this production. I... <laughs> what was that? I can... Oh. You said they are real? Uh, <laughs> you want to come sit in the seat and, 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 and headline the show? No? Well, maybe then don't interrupt! You know your job, stay in that place! Even though I have thorough evidence in here that suggests otherwise, I, I might be wrong. Maybe they are real, maybe they are, because I see a cockeyed pigeon sitting right in front of me. And you you want to come sit in the seat? You, you can't see straight? 
Don't bump into the wall on your way trying to get here. I severely apologize. Huh? He said they're real again? Well, since we talking about things that are real, your unemployment is about to be real in the second you play with me, I Your lack of hygiene is real. Your bad breath is real. That dust on your ceiling fan is real. The mice crawling to get the last little bit of crumbs of granola bars that you left on your mattress on the bed is real. So we talking about things that's real. My foot in the back of your head about to be real in a second. That's real, right? Since it's real. <laughs> that dirty mattress on the floor in your bedroom is real. Ain't no frame, ain't no bed spring, just a mattress on the floor. You can rearrange your room in two seconds. Just kick the mattress to the other side of the room. Boom, brand new. Okay. Now let's get to the real important person here. It's only important. It's me. Um, back to the video. I sincerely apologize. I have no interest in wasting time in this video arguing with people who can take their mattress and fold it and put it in their pocket. Now here is where the real work begins. Dead mattress. Okay. Have you ever seen a baby pigeon? Have you ever noticed how birds fly away if you get too close? If you try to touch them? Well, that is clearly because Birds are not real. <sighs> they are government surveillance drones put out to spy on us, gain intel, information, watch our moves. Now, This has grown into a whole movement. People claim that the federal government has exterminated all birds in the United States between 1959 and 1971, and they were all replaced by look-alike drones that are used by the government to spy on citizens. This has had to be carried out under the presidency of Eisenhower, which, if you watch the Alien conspiracy video, he has some ties into that stuff too. But it was said that US President John F. Kennedy was assassinated by the government because he was reluctant to follow through with this bird project and kill all the birds to replace them with surveillance drones. The government has removed most of the birds on the planet and replaced them with highly sophisticated robot drones. And these agents of the state might know you better than you know yourself. The Birds Aren't Real movement began in 1976 and revealed the conspiracy to eliminate all birds with a deadly virus. The university doesn't want me sharing this information. The United States government systematically removed and replaced our flying friends with these robotic devices. The CIA would have 12 million birds tracking and surveilling our every movement. Now, if you've been here, you know we don't come without evidence or instances that help prove the topic of discussion. <sighs> You ever notice how birds sit on power lines? That is said to be the source of how they recharge themselves. And birds pooping on your car, said to be a liquidated tracking apparatus used to track you and gain more information about you. They're not satisfied with just having these surveillance drones disguised as real birds watching us. They use that substance to track you, track your moves. If you wake up with a lot of it on your car one morning, I advise you get that cleaned immediately. And of course they know we don't feel comfortable saying everything out in the public. Where do we feel the most comfortable at? Where we might let out the most sacred of information? In our very homes. The solution to this, pet birds. If you have one, I don't mean to scare you with this video, but if you don't believe in the power of these birds, there is a war known as the Great Emu War, where Australia once declared war against emus and they lost. It was 1932 where they declared this war, where 20,000 emus occupied farmland that was intended for the World War I veterans. 
They had soldiers, machine guns, all dedicated to taking out these birds. And they still lost the war. When those birds fly away, it's not because they're scared. It's because the government doesn't want you getting too close to touch their high-tech drone equipment or finding out what's really there. Additionally, it is illegal to possess, sell, hunt, or even offer to sell or hunt or possess or kill bald eagles. This is because they are the most expensive government drone. And they don't like to waste money. I mean, it only makes sense. The bald eagle is the national bird of the United States. This includes trying to sell even their feathers, nests, eggs, body parts, even dead eagles. You see bird, others see bureaucratic intelligence reconnaissance drones. It is said that pigeons are city surveillance. Vultures are public sanitation. Owls are night surveillance. Hummingbirds are attack drones. Seagulls, coastal surveillance. And I don't think I have to continue. And in the strange matter of sleeping while standing up, very peculiar, don't you think? Because <laughs> they're not really sleeping. But then you may ask, when I throw food, huh? <laughs> I know I clean my ears out this morning. Do, I, do, do they deceive me? But you, you want me to wrap this up? You have to go home? Oh, well, I was just talking about throwing food, but I'm about to throw something else in a second. Keep and I should be, and I should be. When I come out of my mansion, I sprinkle some bread to the pigeons. Don't play with me over here. You, <laughs> so if you're talking about throwing stuff, you about to throw your career out in a second. I don't think you understand. Well, let me help make it clear. Look in the mirror. We talking about pigeons, but there's one right there. I asked for the patience when I started. <laughs> I'm gonna need a bit more. Back to the topic of discussion you might say when I throw food, it eats. Don't living things eat? It's not eating. It's collecting data. What are you throwing at the pigeon? What type of food? What brand? What do companies want to know? They get that data to collect and sell to companies. They're collecting the data. That's why they eat. Eat. What brands are they using most often? What, what type of bread is this? What, what do we need more of on the shelves? What, what's performing better? What type of snacks or treats are you throwing at the pigeons? They do anything for more data for them to improve the company and to make more money. Government gets their hands on that data, sells it to companies, more money, increase more drones. Still never seen that baby pigeon, huh? And you might say, oh, but they fly south for the winter migration. You think they keep the same drones and cycle at every location forever? No, no, no. <laughs> they cycle out, migrating the birds that leave, not the same ones that come back, of course. They switch out the drones. It's a cycle, it's a cycle, cycled out every year. Now, military jets fly in a V in order to reduce drag, which helps them fly further with less fuel, saves money. Isn't it interesting how birds like to fly in the same V formation? Same concept, fly further, less fuel, keeps the cost low on surveillance. They like to keep track of us, but they like to save money too. And when you pay attention to the bird to nest ratio, why do you always see so many birds in an area? 
but you see less nests. Do you remember the time you saw a bird? I'm sure you do, but can you pinpoint a time where you saw nests or multiple nests in an area where you've seen birds? Cause they don't need nests. They don't need it. What? Oh, you tried to be slick with that one. Didn't think I heard that. I'm over here saying they don't need the nest. He gonna say, but well, we don't need to be here. You don't, but well, you're not about to be here in a second. They don't need the nest, but you about to not need your neck. Are you, are you do need it? Well, let's make sure you shut before I get cut out. I'm so sorry for being violent on this broadcast, but these college, some of them are about to lose a job. And I cannot keep putting up. Fit the video in. I think they learn by now. So after listening to all of the carefully gathered evidence that my colleagues helped me procure, what do you think? Do you think birds are real? I mean, with a more perfect way to install spying technology in the place where we least expect it. And even though this video was great because, well, it has to be, I'm in it. I'm sorry that we had a little bit of sour notes played throughout my beautiful tune of this video. Um, but these theories will return regardless. Keep letting me know what you want to see and what we should explore next. Thank you and good night. <sighs> Successful. Another one. In the bag. I'm not cutting none of that out. None of it. I'm not cutting not a single drop of that out. Yeah, I don't care. Oh, expose me? No, y'all exposed to being lousy workers. That's serious. I'm not cutting nothing off too. Y'all, y'all cutting the light. Y'all can close the door behind y'all when y'all get out. Y'all can sweep that down. Y'all, y'all can sweep down the desk. Y'all can put the setup back. Y'all can do all that. I'm doing nothing. I'm putting this folder down and I'm getting out of here. Now you will be on time the next time I call y'all, or you won't have much time here left. You think I'm bad? I, this is the fifth video in this series. Gave y'all so many chances. And I'm still gonna call y'all back for the for number six. Two nights. Close the door on your way out. <sighs> okay, I was about to leave, enjoy the rest of my night, but I cannot make this up. Why is a how long was that? I know y'all see what I'm seeing. I know y'all see what I'm seeing. I know y'all see what I'm seeing. And on the bird video, if this has anything to do with my actions in the last video, I'm, I'm maybe I mess with, I mess with the spirits in the last video. Maybe they still mad, cause ain't no way on the bird video a bird is outside the window. Mm -mm. And not moving, staring. Government intel, government watch, government watch. And there's a lot of windows in this facility. Let me make sure everything closed and locked up before I get out. I don't need none of that coming in here. I still can't believe it. There was a bird outside in the video about bird. Nobody move. Do not. Oh, if that thing come flying, y'all will not see me again. Y'all, y'all will not see number six, number seven, but this series will end. Hold on. I can't leave. No, because it went from the... What? And I can't even open that window. What is going on here? I blame the colleagues. I'm so sorry.